In this special episode of The Sickos, we attempt to survive 24 hours on one of the most remote coastlines in all of the Hawaiian Islands. Oh my The only God. items we brought with us was a fire starter, a few bottles of fresh water, and absolutely no food. I'm so Instead, hungry. we've got three spear guns that nobody knows how to use, but one of the best spear fishermen to mentor us through the process. We're only gonna eat whatever we catch here. After a flight, an hour-long car ride, and a treacherous hike along the coastline, we're ready to see if we feast or fail. Oh my God, sweating buckets. We just arrived at what I think is gonna be our home for the next 24 hours. Once we settled into home base, it was still early in the morning. But considering we know nothing in the field of spear fishing, we wanted to get a start on trying to get food before the sun went down. Before we got in the water, it was time for our mentor to give us a little rundown. So out here you got the Moana Collies, which are those goatfish. Real purple, real pretty. I'll point them out, I'll get excited, I love to eat them. We're in untouched grounds. There's real good chance of stuff like a nohu, which is like your big scorpion looking fish, which if we see one, it's not going anywhere. It looks like a rock. So if we see one, we call everybody over and be like, get that one. Does anybody actually know how to kill fish? Has anybody shot a fish? Yeah. Nobody shot a fish. Yep, that's right, Ryan. Nobody's shot a fish. Now let's explain why you're so surprised by that. Ryan Myers is a two times world champion spear fisherman, fellow YouTuber, and a survival master. Ryan's role in this challenge was to provide us with the right knowledge so that we can provide on our own. Okay, this is your simplest gun. It's got no reel, it's got a band. Band goes on top, comes back, gets loaded, comes to here. Don't shoot people, obviously. <laughs> We're not shooting each other. A lot of people swim and it goes behind you and like the whole group is swimming behind you. You know, so if you're off the trigger, don't shoot each other. High percentage shot. If you got a fish and it looks like my hand and you try and shoot it like this, it's never gonna happen. You're never, you're never gonna hit that fish, right? Whereas if you go down to the bottom and now this fish comes in and it turns. Now it's a much bigger shot. I'm gonna point out a couple fish early on that are important to us. We're looking for the king cole and we're looking for the cole. Those are black. The king cole is gonna be bigger and this, the, the regular cola is gonna have a yellow eye. But once you get like those two fish, like you can spear them, shoot them, those are the, what we want. We wanna fry those up whole here, they're gonna be awesome, they're gonna be delicious. What do you assume is gonna happen here? How are we gonna do? I assume that nobody without fins will kill anything. <laughs> <laughs> After Ryan's speech, we were certainly all feeling a lot less confident heading into the water. But with no time to waste, we gathered our gear and set out on our mission. So we're only gonna eat whatever we catch. I'm really hungry, so let's not screw this up. We are about to go out in the water, and uh, this is our first attempt at catching fish, catching food. Uh, Ryan is gonna watch us absolutely fail. I am almost sure of it, but we're gonna stay optimistic and see what we can do. First dive with Ryan. Let's see how it goes. Oh my god! Oh my god, he's a goddamn what? He's a speck down there. He's like 80 feet deep and just snipes an absolutely massive one. First shot. Legend. That was unbelievable! That never happened. <laughs> this is an uku fish. This is the number one favorite eating fish, best to hunt, best to eat fish right there. So it turns out we were decent spear fishermen after all. And to hear the compliments from Ryan Myers himself 
was really cool to hear. We ended up catching way more fish than we ever could have imagined, with Ryan bringing in the big three as to be expected. At the very end of the dive, Ryan pointed out an extremely rare fish that he's only seen three times in his entire career, and it's known as a nohu. It's a beautiful red fish that we ended up catching, and that was the grand prize of the entire dive. But when you're surviving on an island for 24 hours, catching the fish is only half the battle. Now, it's time to head to the kitchen. Check this thing out! It's a no-who! Guys, crazy! These things are so good to eat. One of the best eating fish we have in Hawaii. You think it's a good haul for some first-timers? How many did you catch? Be honest. Um, <laughs> all the non-black All the good ones. All the big ones, yeah. All the, not, all the ones that didn't look like that. <laughs> but no, it was really shocking grounds. This is not normal. Yeah. And potentially yeah. the most impressive haul is the girls. Look at that, look. Wow. The way you do it, the way you, they say they do it in Hawaii is you just take the shell and just the whole thing and you just <laughs> pop it in your mouth. Like candy. Wait, what did you do? Candy. Are you gonna break your teeth? Are you trying to crunch it? <laughs> That's what they do in Hawaii, right? No, you scoop it out. Oh, oh. Scoop it out. Thanks, Ryan Myers. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> it's, it's like something you could find growing in your shower. But. Yeah. 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 Surviving. Oh, I got a hair on mine. <laughs> oh, you guys are way more. I think I've lost it. I'm pretty tired. That, that fish is looking so good. I'm just thinking about all the ways I want to cook it. And with the fish caught, it was now time to get them prepped for dinner. Right there. As Ryan was teaching us to scale and fillet fish, it turned out we weren't the only predators in the ocean, as a neighboring eel came up to try and grab a seat at our dinner table. <laughs> wow! What? Oh my god! You know, you guys probably think, yeah, sickos, they can only do sports. Someone happens, not gonna say any names, happens to be a fire master. With Caden's fire lit and the boys' fish cleaned, we could finally get to the part we had all been waiting for. Check it out. These are those Nohu collars. So this is the best part of kind of any fish, all this meat up in here, of the best fish. So this is gonna be stupid. Oh my God. Wow, it's insane. Wow. Dude, I've never had this flavor in a fish before. And so so a big clean pig went up to heaven and disintegrated into clouds yeah. and then condensed yeah. into rain and then you ate like a hardened frozen raindrop of that. It. I've had a lot of fish and I think this is the best fish in the world. I really do, without a doubt. I mean, without a doubt. He's the only one that gets me excited. As sappy as it sounds, sharing moments around the fire like these, especially with new friends like Ryan, is really what these trips are all about. And learning from a master fisherman makes it all the better. And after all this, Ryan still had one more surprise for us. Old crew fell asleep early, so we're gonna put these crabs on their faces. Okay, we're gonna get Jackson. That's that? Sorry! Oh my god, fucker! <laughs> After we got the crabs out of our hair, the night <laughs> ended up going pretty quickly. And the sleep was horrible. Eventually, the sun rose above the horizon and we hazily awoke with a terrible night's sleep, but an incredible memory behind us. It's times like these that you cherish and look back on the most. And this is an experience we'll all certainly never forget anytime soon. So to close this chapter of the book, we had to give our final goodbyes to Sir Ryan Myers. All right, well we survived 24 hours on this beach. Unbelievable time. Everyone's packing up and while they're doing so, we gotta go say what up to Ryan. Ryan, thank you, you so much. No that worries, was an man. unbelievable experience and all thanks to this guy. He led the charge, he got us the big fish. He made it happen, he made us thrive when we would have been starving. If any of you don't know who Ryan is, go subscribe to him right now. I'll we'll have a link in the description below. He's the best, one of the best, if not the best, spear fisherman in the world. And we saw him go out there, one dive, one shot, all the way to the bottom, get the biggest fish of the day in Uku. 
I mean, that's just, that's animal. So subscribe to the man. That was so epic. Thank you guys you. are awesome. Thank you so, yeah, so brother, much for having me. Good time. Me. Thank you. Next time you're teaching me how to surf, we're down. Get over <laughs> there. <laughs>